Hello everyone, I'm Chris Algieri here with Jim Lampley for PPV.com. Jim, how do you see this fight going? Well, I, I've always seen it from the moment the fight was made as a superior technician, Devin Haney, a guy who has uh, an unusual credential, which is a decision win over Vasily Lomachenko uh, against a, a fighter who wants to be dangerous, wants to be destructive, wants to land the left hook. Uh, and somehow change the fight with that. And, you know, you never rule out the possibility that somebody with some athletic talent like Ryan Garcia can get that done. Hey, they fought six times as amateurs, and the record shows three wins for each. So I can't say that Ryan Garcia has zero chance in the fight. I just think that there's every reason to believe that Haney is the logical favorite. I agree that this is uh, a Devin Haney fight to win, and it always has been. I've always thought that. And Ryan, being as talented as he is, he did have an opportunity here to make this a real fight. But the way that he's carried himself, the way that it looks like he's prepared, or lack of preparation that he's done leading up to this fight, puts me in a place where I'm like, there's no way he's winning this fight. But, like you said, there's always a puncher's chance. Ryan can punch. He's got very quick hands, and he has a very good left hook. Can he land that dynamite on Devin Haney, one of the best defensive fighters in the world at any level? I don't know. We'll see. But I, I think that this is a Devin Haney fight to win for sure. And honestly, I don't think the stoppage is out of, out of the question. I don't think it's out of the question because, you know, when a technical fighter has the advantage and he has the kind of knowledge and awareness that Devin Haney has, he can choose at which moment he wants to press that advantage and, and try to finish with something decisive that will help him to be more marketable uh, and more exciting to the audience in the future. I think we've seen a lot of behaviors in the past few weeks which would never have taken place in the era before social media. Absolutely. I think that the fact that there are fewer professional filters between Ryan Garcia and his audience make it possible for him to behave in illogical ways and for people to feast on whatever it is they want to see in him as a means of drawing themselves into his particular myth-making uh, act. And it's a myth-making act, at least I think so. We'll find out when they get into the ring. Yeah, make sure you tune in on PPP.com. I'm Chris Algieri, Jim Lampley. That's our take for the main event, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia.